well, we just finished the desert scene, uh, our motel scene. Now we're back in the studio where we actually build an artificial hotel room. Or well, the hotel that you saw earlier, uh, we're not gonna be shooting there because it's too small. So in order to fit all the lights and camera, guys built this artificial room inside the studio, and that's where you know everything's gonna happen. Our lead cowboy is gonna get in there, and we discover the closet with the void and the girl lives so uh we'll see what happens Okay, so now we are still the first day of shooting. We're doing the part in the green screen where a cowboy trips over in the desert and he falls over uh, down through the desert, I guess, into the bed. Uh, you know, basically he falls uh, into the void and then um, things are appearing and as he's walking, uh, things are essentially bleeding into the frame. I'm sure that makes no sense. It's but a lot of fancy best, words without any. Yeah, it's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> uh, we'll uh, let's see what happens here behind yeah. the green screen. We'll see. <laughs> and your hands are actually falling forward, yeah, like that. And somebody with a leaf blower would be blowing. Yeah. So we're with our production designer Rob, uh, who's actually taking care of. Uh, the set, he built this uh, wonderful set for us, this room. And now he is uh, working on the mannequins. Uh, this is actually a mannequin that looks like our lead. He actually was all custom made, the hair is custom made, right? Can, Rob, can you tell us about this? Uh, yeah, it was just pretty much uh, came in and reshaped all the hair on it uh, with some clay, came in and restained uh, just to add some depth and give it a little more likeness to the lead actor for the piece. And right now I'm just coming in and staining the hair just to give the mannequin a little more of a lifelike appearance so we have a better transition between the actual characters and the mannequins themselves so there isn't so much distance in between the gap. So we just uh, got a just stop by the Indian reservation to get uh, some explosive for our scene uh, where and once again we get carried away. Yeah, we we decided to uh, test it out ourselves to so see if the product really works. Just say if you don't put it in the tube and just load up the TV with it, we'll smash it to pieces. for tomorrow's shoot, making sure everything goes properly. Mike is a pyrotechnic specialist. It was hard here. Trained, been training for four years for this event and this video. Oh, I went to the USFA, the U United States Firework Association. Well, right now, obviously, these are mortar shells and they're supposed to be in a tube. And uh, Serge and I, we never, have, we never do things ordinary. So our genius idea is, why don't we eliminate the tube and just explode the mortar shells? And uh, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Run, bro, run! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad idea! <laughs> Fuck, that was a bad idea! Alright, so finally the day two comes to an end. It's been a very long, tiring two days of shooting. Uh, 
I said it's a little destroyed. Uh, you see like you see debris and stuff and crushing everything. Like there's a broken mirror with a void. Thank you everybody for being with us. Uh, and uh, I guess watch the video. Yeah,